Hello, I'm Father Joseph Eddy. I'm a Mercedarian Friar. I'm the vocation director for the Mercedarian Friars, and I'm here with Father Tony Fortunato. And we're here at the, the shrine of the Holy Crucifix in Nemi, Italy. This place is very special to Father Tony, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this place and why it is so special. Father Tony, why is this sanctuary of the Holy Crucifix so special to you in, in this, this uh, house of Nemi? Okay, here I have to go back to 1952. I left Calabria, a little village by the name of Rocimbreal. I came here for high school, and I stay here until 58, after the novitiate year, one year of first vows, and then I went to Rome in 1958. So high school and novitiate, and then first vows. Now you know what this is like. Wow. Uh, very special to me. How old were you when you came here first? I was about, uh, I would say, 13 the most, just oh, a baby. Oh my, wow. Yeah. You were a young man. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's go inside and, and, okay. and take a look at this, the shrine of the Holy Crucifix. Okay. This cross is very special. It's wooden from the Garden of Gethsemane in Israel. And a Franciscan fry by the name of Fra Vincenzo went there a few times. And one particular occasion, he brought with himself a piece of wood from the Garden. And he was very artistic minded. He started to do the picture of Jesus, as you can see here on the cross. And the specialty of this crucifix is that one night he prayed, he prayed, he prayed. He said, Oh my goodness. I can I do the face of Jesus. So I went to bed and prayed over, and then woke up in the morning, and guess what, voila! There was a beautiful face of Jesus, smiling Jesus, which you can see right, left, and the center, and the friar, Franciscan friar, Fra Vincenzo, was very happy, because most likely, there was like a miracle of the Almighty God given to the Franciscan friar. And popes, at least six, seven popes came here to pray in front of this, uh, a crucifix, and last but not least, about two or three years ago, even Bob Benedict came here in a very private way, and he stayed here for an hour, he prayed in Latin, German of course, and then Italian for an hour, and then he went to visit our convent inside of the place there. He was very impressed. Oh, yes. So, as special as this crucifix is to this church and to you, I know that there's one part of this sanctuary which is most special to you. Can you can you show us that I would part? Say so. Yes, sure. Let's go for it. Okay, come. Okay, Father Joseph, beautiful, nice way we have Lady Mercy, yes. St. Peter, Alaska, our founder, and a, a poor slave. The chains are broken. This is special because on September 23rd, 1957, mm -hmm. I knelt here in front of this beautiful Madonna with about nine other classmates of mine dressed up in white and we were invested as nurses of the Order of Little Mercy. Oh. And a year after, about uh, 15, 1958, it was September 27, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, we knelt back here again and we made the first vows in the Order of Little Mercy and then we went to Rome to start the philosophy and theology. Oh, of course, that's why it's so special to yes, you. Yes, each time this I come here, you... I always come to say hi to the Madonna besides the crucifix, of course. So this is where you, you first gave yourself yes. to God yes. and yes. Our, our Lady through Very the Very much so, yes. Very and uh, you know, guess what? I still did not change my mind yet. So, Father Tony, this is the courtyard. Were you, as, a, as an apostle and a novice, we, did, did you ever go through here or During run many, through here? Rainy days, we you know, we're going to go outside. So we had to come here and run and just go around the city. Oh, so we about an hour to so take nice. exercise, <laughs> especially after the meals. Yeah. Father, what can you tell me about the lake here, Lake Nemi well, and the, the gardens? The lake goes back to the Roman Empire when there used to be a, a volcano, and then the volcano collapsed, most likely, and the lake was formed. And Caligula, the famous crazy Roman emperor, he built for himself <laughs> his own purpose. He built about two or three boats where he would come here summertime and enjoy the nice weather and climate of Nemi. And then, of course, someone destroyed those, those boats because, you know, he was killed or he died or whatever happened to him. And then Mussolini, just before World War II, he, had a, he knew about those boats, Roman boats, all the way down on a, in, the, in, the, in the lake. And what he did, it, the water was taken all the way, all the way to the sea, Mediterranean oh. Sea, which as you can see here is about uh, 30 kilometers or so. And those boats were brought there on the surface there. The, a little museum was built for it. Oh, okay. And uh, unfortunately, at the end of World War II, 
uh, the Germans before left the Navy, you know, because they were mad at the Italians most likely, they burned everything and right now you just have the so-called, the wood, the wooden the kind of structure was destroyed by the fire, but the iron stuff is still there, the metal stuff is still there mm -hmm. as a souvenir of that. Mm -hmm. But here's the garden which was oh, called the garden, the garden okay. of the fathers. And the Farallo Dice, my novice master, uh, for at least one year, 57, 58, Farallo Dice would come here and spend most of his precious time in the afternoon in order to take care of the flowers, the plants, and the bushes. And, uh, and there was a fountain there, but as you can see now, we had to fix the fountain. But you hear the rest of, of the convent, which was called in honor of St. Raymond and others, has been furnished, ah. structured, and hopefully we'd, we hope to finish up the place you know, sometime in the near future. Looking very nice, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I agree with you 100%. Did you work out here in the garden when you were now? You know, not right here, but underneath today, on the other side, uh, by the kitchen, all the way down, there was like a wall which collapsed. So Farrell Odisse, he had a, the very genial idea, I should say, in the afternoon, instead of going to bed for a little siesta, he would ask all the ten officers, including myself, to go down there on the other side of the kitchen and build a brand new wall, you know, so we protect our place from the, going down to the lake. And I guess I checked a couple of days ago, guess what, the wall is still there. Oh, You know, wow. so I guess uh, uh, since 1957-58, uh, we did a good job. Yeah. You know, the, the wall did not collapse on us. The Italians okay. know how to make things well. Oh, yeah, of course. And <laughs> Father Diz was a master, you know, music, Latin and Greek, and uh, how to fix uh, here the gardens in how uh, to build the walls. Ah. So he, he was a master. No wonder he was a master.